When you first receive your third generation IP joystick from PTZ Optics, the first to do is read your included manual. Once you've read through the manual, you can connect your IP joystick to your network. If your network switch provides PoE, power over ethernet, you should not use the included power supply. Only use this power supply if your network switch is not capable of PoE power. Please note, DHCP is required for the initial configuration of your joystick. The joystick controller is unable to span subnets, so the IP camera and the joystick controller must be in the same subnet of your local area network. For example, 192.168.1.123 and 192.168.1.124 belong in the same subnet but 192.168.1.123 and 192.168.0.125 do not. Once your joystick boot up process is complete, the LCD screen will display the controller's current IP address. Please take note of this IP address. If you would like to change the joystick's language or set a static IP address for your joystick, please follow the detailed instructions inside our user manual. The joystick is now ready to add camera IP addresses. The setup button opens up a menu on the LCD screen. Please press the enter button to add a camera on settings 0 through 05, or just simply hit add camera. Set up a device ID for the corresponding camera on your camera's IP address and enter it into the joystick. You can use the IP address and don't forget to hit the period button in between octets. For example, 192.168.1.60. Let's quickly add two cameras to this joystick controller. Once the joystick has been configured for each of your cameras, you can quickly switch between them using the cam one through six buttons. If the LCD display shows equipment offline for a particular camera, please check if the LAN connection to the camera is live and that the camera is powered on. If the LCD display shows username and password error, please check that the added device's username and password has been added to the device's configuration. You can always hit the escape key to return to the top level of the LCD menu at any time. The link LED on the rear keyboard will illuminate green any time a camera is successfully connected to. Once you've connected to a selected camera, we can use the joystick controller for intuitive pan, tilt, and zoom operation. The PTZ speed can be adjusted by pressing the speed button. You can manually adjust focus and iris using the plus and minus buttons for focus and iris. To return to autofocus or auto exposure, simply press these corresponding buttons. Finally, there's a new feature on this joystick for focus lock. You can use this feature by pressing the A.FocusLock key to lock or A.FocusUnlock key to unlock focus. Remember, when the focus is locked, only manual focus adjustments can be made to the current focus state. And keep in mind that if you save a preset with the camera in manual focus, with the focus set manually, that the focus state will be saved with that preset and recalled when you call that preset. Now it is time to set up presets. Once you are connected to your selected camera, you can press the set button. Once you are in set mode, you can move the camera to the PTZ position and select the number preset you want and press enter. You can continue to do this with multiple PTZ positions, saving each to their unique preset number. We highly suggest keeping a notebook or laminated piece of paper next to your joystick for reference. Here's a tip. To quickly set a camera preset, you can simply hold down a numeric key for three seconds. Once the key flashes on the LCD screen, you will have successfully saved the camera preset. Now to recall presets, you can click the recall button. Using the keypad, you can select the number you would like and then press enter. To quickly recall a saved preset at any time, you can simply tap the numeric key to recall that preset. Finally, if you have any trouble, you can always reach out to PTZ Optics using our phone number or our support team and visit our knowledge base at help.ptzoptics.com. For simple troubleshooting with your joystick, please reference our user manual on page 17, which offers solutions to common troubleshooting issues. We hope you have a lot of fun and don't forget to enjoy.